55-year-old Bassam Elenin suffers from severe and constant tremors due to Parkinson's disease. It affects everything he does. The medication he's been taking no longer controls the shaking and actually makes twisting and jerking motions worse. This syndrome, called dyskinesia, is common for advanced Parkinson's sufferers. It's, it affects the whole body, the, all the limbs. It can affect the upper or lower limbs to a greater extent than other side, uh, than each other, but uh, it's usually a, a generalized phenomenon. Harper University Hospital neurosurgeon Dr. Hazem El Tahawi determined that Mr. Elenin was a good candidate for deep brain stimulation. The deep brain stimulation is indicated when there is a lot of complications from the medication. This minimally invasive procedure involves placing electrodes in the brain to areas affected by Parkinson's. This part is done while the patient is awake and there is no pain involved. During this process, we would be continuously uh, talking to the patient and asking him to open and close his eyes, his hands, uh, speak, uh, say numbers. So that would make sure that uh, this electrode is going in without causing any problems. Wires are attached to a pacemaker-like device placed under the skin in the upper chest. A stimulator is used to activate the battery and electronic impulses control activity in the brain. This eases the patient's tremors. The effects are dramatic. With the stimulator turned off, Mr. Elenin cannot stand even with assistance. But then, when the stimulator is turned on... He can raise the hand immediately up. He is able to stand up and walk without any uh, assistance. And that's a marvelous improvement from his state without any stimulation. Mr. Elenin can keep the stimulator on at all times or turn it off periodically to sleep. The key advantage to the deep brain stimulation is that, unlike other procedures, no brain tissue is damaged and recovery is quick. It is a very effective, it's almost a breakthrough for treatment in uh, you know, later stages of Parkinson's disease. Clearly, for Mr. Elenin, this has been a life-changing procedure. Deep Brain Stimulation at Harper University Hospital, one of nine hospitals of the Detroit Medical Center, where many of our doctors are ranked among America's very best physicians. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.